As before, there is a voiceover free version of this video with a link in the description. Now, let's get spooky. I wanted to make a cool Christmas gift for my aunt and uncle, since my aunt is a Wiccan, or as we call her, an evil hag who we love very much. I found the images I wanted to use on Google as always. I'd like to add that if you can freehand any of this, all of the laser steps are obviously completely optional. Unfortunately, my hands are about as stable as the British economy is right now, <laughs> so I have zero confidence in my fine detailed work, which is why I'm using Illustrator to vectorize the images I found. This is followed by an image adjustment, where I get rid of all of the white background to clean up the image, sizing it, and adding the captions I decided on. I also put it in a completely cut out square, which is cleaner than the wood I was using at the time. The text is easiest to add using a circle as a guideline, since the illustrator would have trouble with the squiggles. Remember, text font choice is very important. Your life may depend on it. Once the file is ready, it's time to use the laser. After checking alignments, the machine is set off. Black Walnut is the top layer, since it looks the nicest, and if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll realise that I have a slight obsession with it. I'm doing two layers of material since it's the easiest way to get enough depth for the pewter to sit in properly. It's not as well suited for fine detail as resin is, because it's a lot more viscous. The bottom layer is therefore cheap laser ply. Laser ply doesn't produce noxious fumes or reflect the laser, hence why it's important to use it instead of regular ply. When the wood is cut, I glued the two pieces together using a standard wood glue on a clean surface. I smeared it to prevent air bubbles from forming, and then I put it between two sturdy pieces of wood to clamp it evenly. When the glue is dry, it's time to heat up the pewter. I'm using a lead-free pewter here, so it's pretty safe stuff. I still wouldn't recommend eating it though. Spooky scary skeletons and shivers down your spine Shrieking skulls will shock your soul and seal your doom tonight Spooky scary skeletons will stick with such a screech You'll shake and shudder in surprise when you hear these zombies shriek We're so sorry skeletons, you're so misunderstood You only want to socialize, but I don't think it's incredibly satisfying to melt the pewter, but since this is almost 300 degrees Celsius, or over 550 of those weird and nonsensical Fahrenheits, it's kind of scary too. I get rid of as much slag as I can and burnt dust as well, which is gathered on top of the surface of the pewter before it was melted. I hit the wood with a heat gun to prevent any moisture from ruining the pore, and especially to stop any steam explosions. Then I poured the pewter into the mould, and adjusted it as best I can. I have no advice for this part, just do it as well as you can manage. When set, I went straight to stock removal. It didn't go well. Spooky, 
The pewter doesn't bind with the wood, so the piece can fall out easily, hence my making a fool of myself. I cut off as much excess as I could, and then continued filing, sanding, and adjusting until I was happy. Some of the dust got into the engraved pattern, which I really like the look of, so I filled all of the engravings with glue to stick the dust in. When I was happy with the removal, I sanded it all clean. I also adjusted the edges so that the laser ply background wasn't as obvious, because no one really wants to see plywood on a wall back. The final step is, of course, the best part. Oiling or waxing it. Make sure you have some gloves on of the correct size, apply your choice of finishing product to the piece, and then let it dry. Voila, one finished wall plaque. Thank you for watching, and have a happy Halloween. <laughs>